This is something Vinewood understands implicitly, and I'm going to take it across the state. Let's get back on track. I think we have a health crisis in this country, and people should have the medicine they need, like Proposition 2. Yes, Fernando loves medical cocaine. I see, pretty lady, you look like you are not feeling well. I will help you. I have put a row of medicine down there for you. Oh, yes. She's feeling much better now. Maybe you want to take it like a suppository. Poof. Yes, yes, okay. We have some people on the phone who have questions for Miss Murray. Okay, line eight. Hello, you are on the show. Hey, good work, people. Great job. Nice, we're still in business. Very well done. All of you. Very, very non-incriminating. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Ah. You know, it's ironic, given we, uh, uh, maybe now's not the best time to discuss irony. God, what is wrong with me, you know? I'm usually such a high achiever, you know, for a criminal. <laughs> so, before we remove Professor Rashkovsky from his unwelcome stay in prison, we've got to, we've got to clean up a few other loose ends pertaining to the case. Yes, it's a killing, but no, it's nothing immoral at all. Just lawyers. Well, uh, the professor's old business associate and two lawyers, but really it's all the same. I mean, I always say, if you can't kill a couple lawyers to bend the law to your will, then who can you kill? <laughs> oh, here they are, Gavin Van De Loop and Josh Sherman. Get them on the way to City Hall, get the documents they're carrying. The business partner is Dima Popov, extremely rich, extremely paranoid, and extremely horrible. Don't cry for this guy, no one else will. He's renting a place up in Richmond Glen. Just him and a huge security team. Get close to him, take him down, and after that we should be ready to go. Now, you talked earlier about the debt ceiling. That's a big issue that is too often politicized. A lot of professional women in this state are hitting a glass ceiling. The debt ceiling, the glass ceiling. Fernando is tired of all these ceilings. Ceilings aren't really ceilings. They're those fake ceilings in little squares, and you can hide things up there. Um, okay. Well, we've got someone on the phone who really wants to talk to Miss Murray. It's author and parenting guru, Alan McLean. Hey, I heard what you said about my book. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. McLean, but it's barbaric. Children should be coddled and never made to feel bad or actually respect authority. I'll come over and hit your kid right now. I thought this was an intelligence station. Is this what you would like, Sumari? Would you like this man who writes the book to spank you like a little girl and then hold you tight afterwards? His stubble on the nape of your neck, smelling of whiskey on his breath. What? 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 What are you talking about? Never. S since I divorced my ex.
got a clear view of the steps? Vanderloop and Sherman are on route in a black benefactor shafter. Do not shoot until they are out of the car. Here they come. Wait till they're out and take the shots at the exact same time. Two shots, two kills.
sitting ducks? That's where the term comes from. A sitting duck. Cause that duck's sitting there, right? You heard that call. 